Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the advanced filter data in MS Excel. In my last lecture, I showed you how to use a uh, basic filter option of Microsoft Excel. And uh, while giving the demonstration, I showed you how to filter data from this uh, large data set of 7,000 candidates uh, on the basis of this criteria, that is, uh, we, we were looking for non-disabled candidates, then female candidates, and the candidates from Chittagong Division, from Wakali District, and with CGPA greater than 2 and age less or equal to 35. So, just to give you a quick uh, recap, let me run through the procedure again. So, you'll have to select all these uh, columns and go to Data tab and then go to Filter tab. And from the Filter tab, uh, you will go to the corresponding headers where your criteria are related. So <clears throat> first of all, you are looking for NDA. So you will be clicking on this and select NDA and then the gender. So that is female and there is no criteria on, on, on ethnicity. So just ignore that and from Chittagong, from division, you will have to select Chittagong and from within the Chittagong Division, we are looking for candidates from Wakali District and the CGPA has to be greater than 2, okay? And age should be at least 35, okay? So less than or equal to 35, not exceeding 35 years old uh, candidates. So that's it. <clears throat> that gives you a total 29 candidates who... Uh, meet all these criteria and we copied we then copied the uh, filtered data to this sheet that is the filtered data sheet and showed it here so that is fine this is how we have been doing it in the last lecture i showed you and today also i gave a quick recap so today we are going to do the same task but in a different way so let me clear all these filtered data first from the filtered data sheet uh, right and also get clear of these fields and then right so this is what we have now so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to um, add another sheet okay new sheet and let us call it the criteria sheet rename it as criteria sheet right okay <clears throat> and what are the criteria so let us copy the headers from the master data sheet, copy and then paste it here, right? The headers must be the same everywhere to use advanced filter. This is very uh, necessary. This is mandatory, in fact, that the headers are all same, okay? There should not be any uh, spelling mismatch. So there was no criteria on merits. So let us delete this column. And then there was no criteria on the ethnicity. So let us get rid of this column as well. And let us now uh, form, use Format Painter, double click, click on this one and click on this one. And also select this one and then Format Painter, this and this, okay. <clears throat> let us put the borders here. Right, okay. Now, these are the criteria, this is a criteria sheet. And what are the criteria? Uh, let us put the criteria here. So that will be, uh, let us uh, start with equal sign and then close comma. Within the close commas, we'll write NDA, okay? And in the gender, again, we'll write FM. That is what you want. And in division, you are looking for candidates from Chittagong division. And in the district, you are looking for, for candidates from Noakali district, make sure that the spellings are correct. <clears throat> if the spellings are not correct, uh, it will not, I mean, if the criteria uh, spelling is something and in the master data file, it is something else. So that will not match and you will not get the required candidates. And the CGPA should be more than two and the age should be less or equal to 35, okay? So now we are ready to go ready to use the advanced filter feature of ms excel okay so you must there are three sheets master data sheet and the criteria sheet and the filter data sheet 
So this is where you want to import the filtered data on the basis of these criteria from the master data sheet. So what you'll have to do is you must keep your cursor in this worksheet and leave these first two rows uh, like that. Don't put your cursor here. It will not work. So put your cursor somewhere in the third row or in the fourth row okay or anywhere else but not in the first two rows so let us put it uh, let us place the cursor here and then go to data tab and then go to the <coughs> advanced filter tab and here you see this feature th this tab is used for filtering complex criteria okay so when whenever you have to filter data from a <coughs> large data set using complex criteria you should be using this one right uh, so go to this advanced tab and that will uh, pop up a menu like this or a window like this uh, advanced filter and there are two actions here filter the list in place or copy to another location <clears throat> so we are going to copy uh, the filtered data to another location that is from master data we want to bring it here so here we'll select this option and the list range list range is the master data sheet and the range would be from the headers to the last record of the data set in the master data sheet okay and the criteria range where is the criteria criteria are here so you select this first two rows select only these cells okay select the headers all the headers and select the criteria cells do not set do not select any other cells anywhere okay so just keep your selection confined within the uh, cells where, which matter and then copy it to where copy it to the filtered data sheet and select the uh, headers okay right and that should work let's see press okay piece of cake beautiful so if you now put your cursor here and then press ctrl shift down arrow it should take you to the last record of the filtered data set and the count is 29 also you can see from here the row number is 30 minus the header row that is also 29 data so that's it so that is how you can use uh, advanced filter feature for filtering data using uh, complex criteria like i have shown here you can also add other you know uh, criteria here if you if you want i mean if you have you can definitely add other criteria here right so let's go to this master data sheet again and i think you found it useful let's end it today and uh, i'll come back with uh, more interesting um, use of microsoft excel using function using other options and also we'll very soon we'll learn excel vba thanks for thanks for watching this thanks very much